This video demonstrates the assembly process for the Mitsubishi Electric MVZ PVA PVFY multi position air handler unit. The air handler can be easily reassembled in about 15 minutes. When reassembling the multi position air handler, pay close attention not to damage any wiring, electrical connectors, or control boards. Some wiring is routed inside the air handler's frame and exposed during the assembly process. Damaging these parts will cause undesired operation or premature failure. Using a Phillips or 8mm hex driver, install the 8 screws that secure the vertical straps to the lower shelf. Next, install the 8 screws that secure the upper shelf to the assembly. Properly support the internal shelf before installing the six screws securing each side panel to the shelf. Slide the side panel and shelf assembly over the base assembly and install the six screws securing the side panels to the base. Install all of the screws securing the back panel to the air handler. Starting at the top of the air handler, bring the electric box assembly down into the cabinet. Next, holding the electric box near its final location, install the wire harness into the electric box before aligning the holes to the air handler. Install the four screws that secure the electric box to the air handler cabinet. Next, connect the wire harness from the power board on the right side of the electric box. Then. Plug the wire harness which enters on the left side of the electric box into the control board. Set the top panel onto the air handler. Install the two screws located at the front of the air handler cabinet as well as the three located on the back. Carefully slide the blower assembly into the cabinet. Install the two screws securing the blower to the cabinet. Use extreme caution when installing the blower assembly into the air handler cabinet so as not to damage the wiring harness. Now route the wire harnesses into the enclosure. Connect the two white plastic connectors inside the enclosure. Install the cover and the single screw that secures the cover onto the enclosure. Now, it is very important that you do not damage the coil, as it could result in a refrigerant leak. Carefully install the refrigerant coil into the air handler's cabinet. Then, install the one or two brackets that secure the coil in the cabinet. During this process, it's very important not to damage the connectors or wires. Using extreme caution, Carefully route the thermistor wire harness into the control box and install onto connector CN44 on the control board. Next, install the electrical cover, followed by the single screw on the right that secures the cover. Install the two drain panels along with the panel located next to the refrigerant pipes over the refrigerant coil by sliding into the slots in the directions shown. Next, install the large coil panel by aligning the holes and panels. Install the smaller panel located next to the refrigerant pipes. Now, install all the screws that secure the coil panel to the air handler cabinet. Next, install the panel stamped electrical by hooking the top of the panel into the cabinet. Install the two screws located at the bottom. Install the panel stamped blower. Pay attention to the lower portion of the panel as it will hook into the cabinet of the air handler. Rotate it forward and install the two screws located at the top. 
Finally, slide the filter into the cabinet and install the panel stamped filter by hooking the bottom flange into the air handler. Rotate the two thumb screws in the clockwise direction to tighten them and secure the panel. You have now successfully assembled the multi-position air handler and are ready to complete the installation. For more information on this or other products, go to MitsubishiPro.com.